The killer is white, right. aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. Back with Jaden. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. He's That's why he covers their faces with mud to his, make uh, them anonymous. Clues. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Watch your mouth, asshole. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, Hence the title, heavy rain. the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? Pretty fucking big. For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people living in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? No fuckhead. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. That's right, bitch. So what's next? Know your place. There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! That's right, shut the fuck up, you douche. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. And that's what that... How much time do we have left? Inches thing at the bottom of every level If the weather means. forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. So when it tells you you got six inches of rain, don't have a lot of time. Now we're investigating this one freak. Forgot what his name is, Nathaniel. Yeah. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already being questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. So what? You're a cop, buddy. I agree with Blake on this one. Break there shit open. Now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Sometimes you gotta do shit to get the job done. Call the cops. This guy is a religious freak. Very religious. I don't think I could live in a house with that many crucifixes around. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a god fearing idiot. A lot of ancient for the end of the world. writings and scriptures. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. Very, very religious. Raving. Even lives like it. Kind of you know, on the floor there, I think. 
had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Seems to have a large collection of medication. Could be a riot, wide variety of things, but it's hard to say. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. Yeah, it's, it's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. I wonder what he attempts to do. All the signs do. of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. You never know, buddy. You shouldn't rule out anything. Look around a little bit. See what you can find. Possibilities are endless. Uh oh. He came back. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Yes. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. I think you're a little Was there anybody with you? To pray. No. no, I was alone. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Salvation of humanity, that's an uphill battle, I would say. I hold the crucifixes. You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. 2012. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Don't we know buy who any talks Christmas presents you, next, uh, in the next oh, couple years. We both know who talks to you. Don't speak. That name. I guess Blake's trying to break him, but what good is a confession if he what does? What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I better just stand down it. and leave Blake to it. He talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? I wonder what happens He needs yeah. more when, and more. Depending on what you choose. Intervening or not. No. What's Blake looking different? for? You mustn't Why is he pushing him over the edge? Here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't Blake, that right? What are you doing? Oh. It's no. getting out of hand. Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ooh. You are Why the did you do that? You Down the gun, Daniel. I brought you to your father in hell. Don't pull the gun. Son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! Drop the gun now. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You not, shall know divine asshole. power! There's a difference. I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. You should get a trophy if you talk him out of it, but... He was a dick. Had to be done.